Hi hey guys. Well, it's what day is it here? It's Saturday, uh, the 27th of January. Uh, this is the reason why I thought spring was so long last year because I'm in a tank top and flip flops, and it's 80 some degrees out, and you cannot tell me it's January here in Florida. I have decided that Florida has seven months. June, which starts normally for anybody else January 1st, and goes through July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. I'm having a little cup of coffee from 7-Eleven. I just went to get ice for my mug. And they have the best fresh ground. They grind their beans in their little machine. Um, Circle K has it too around here. And they have Colombian coffee and it's so good. So I splurred, got myself a little cup. It's a little one. And um, it's better than grabbing anything else. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm so proud of myself. I was 180. And I feel so skinny. Even though 180 is by far not skinny. But I feel so skinny. And I've lost 30 pounds total now since May of last year. Is when I don't remember the exact date. I'd have to look it up. But I'll let you know when it's a year. But May of last year is when I started the carnivore diet for the first time. And we all know I started, had a good start, fell off. Started, fell off. Ups and down, lots of bumps in the road. <clears throat> but I decided that New Year's resolution was going to be I was going to stick to this carnivore diet. Good. Well, I had a couple bumps up until the 3rd. But basically since January 3rd, I have been strict. We'll call it dirty carnivore because I have seasoning. Um, I just got a chili lime seasoning yesterday that I put on my hamburger and ooh, it's good stuff. So I have some seasoning. I have coffee. Um, trying to cut down on the coffee. I threw away my tea because I didn't have much left and I wasn't really getting any thrill out of it. I actually, my little lemon packets, which again, not carnivore, but you know, um, my little lemon packets, true lemon that I use, if I put that in hot water, I like that way better than I like the tea. So I, I just, I'm doing really well and I'm excited and <clears throat> my loose skin is getting looser, which isn't great, but I was watching um, Dr. Barry or Homestead Howe. I think Dr. Barry. I've got a couple of good nuggets of wisdom from Dr. Barry lately. I think one of them, he was interviewing this lady who has lost, and she didn't opt. She, she lost like 240 pounds on carnivore now, keto carnivore. And um, she said she's got the hanging skin too, and she said, I look at it as my war wounds. And I thought, you know, that's an awesome way of looking at it. And she said, people don't usually look at me and go, ew, look at her skin. They look at her and go, wow, she's lost a lot of weight. And I thought, you know, that's that's kind of a good attitude to have. So I'm adopting that attitude. That these are my war wounds. And it's been a lifelong battle, that's for sure. And it's not over. But, you know, I'm winning it so far. Now, 180 pounds was where I was at when I moved in with James. How many years ago? Let's see, that would be like four years ago now. It was four years in October that I had my colonoscopy. And I weighed 180 at the colonoscopy, or after, before the colonoscopy. The morning of, because you have got to drink the goop, I weighed 170, but as soon as I could start eating again, that came back on. But like I said, I was 210 pounds, you know, not too long ago, last May. And now I'm down to 180, so I'm pretty happy with myself. Very, very happy with myself. Um, I just, I just want to encourage people, if you have ups and downs, just fight through it. Keep fighting. If you have a bad day, so what? Get back on it again. That's what I did. I pretty much was eating carnivore. I would just have bad little bites of things in between, you know. The only thing bad I've had lately, and it's not bad, we had some fish fillets that have like a little very thin bit of breading on it. And I, I looked at the carbs and everything and they were really low. So I had a couple of those, <clears throat> but I'm getting some fish in, so, you know, fight your battles. It's, it's still, I mean, even with keto, I think they say you should keep it under 30 carbs a day, and I've definitely, definitely been 
way under 30 carbs if I've had any at all. So today I've had three eggs. Three eggs fried seems to be my sweet spot. Uh, not too full, but I can get them all in me for I get too full and the boys here who are by my side. There's newbie and <laughs> newbie. And there's Sam. We're sitting outside just enjoying the sun, getting some vitamin D, which I've been missing. It's been so cloudy and so cold for a while now. So it's been just great. Got a little sun today. Hopefully I didn't get too much. We'll see a little later. Once the sun goes down. It's usually when the skin heats up. Chris got quite a bit the other day. But I've been trying to stay in the shade most of the day because I don't want to get burned. Although they say carnivores don't get sunburned. So we'll see. I don't feel like I've gotten anything bad. So we'll see. Mm, this coffee is so good and it is a treat and I can finish it. The thing of it is when I go into a store like if I go into Walmart or something stuff still kind of it pops into my head like ooh and then immediately like immediately before the thought is even finished it's like no that's crap why would you want to put that crap in your body is where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to get a stomach ache. I'm only going to eat a couple bites and then I'm going to throw it away which is a waste of money. And I'm going to get horrible, horrible leg cramps at night. I still get leg cramps at night. They're very, very mild and I can always usually ride them out. But, um, yeah. Oh, hold on here. How long am I? I'm here 22 minutes. My neighbor guy was, he's burning what the house that we were staying at has sold now. And they're doing a bunch of cleanup to it and they cleaned out all the woods and everything and so he's burning some wood so he's still kind of uh, tooling around so that's why I stopped the video but anyway yeah so we've been sitting outside watching them guys they did amazing amazing job oh my gosh but anyway I digress um, so yeah I just wanted to come on here and chat it's been a while just let you know how I'm feeling I know a lot of people probably think I've been failing, but the scale doesn't lie. And uh, I was so happy the other day, now this morning it was still 180, um, but the other day I got on it when I filmed, it was 179.6, and I was like, oh, okay, we got to get the camera out. Well, then of course it went to 180.6, and then I got on it again, as you saw, and it was still 180.6, but I'll take it, because that's 30 pounds. So 30 pounds in eight months, you know, not a huge weight loss. But I am so happy with it and so proud of myself. And just stick with it. Anybody who's discouraged, just stick with it. This is the way for us humans to eat. This is the proper human diet. Um, and like, like um, Carrie from Homestead House says, this is healing humanity. I am healing myself. My backache, still there, but it's so much better. And that's another, that's, that's kind of what got me through this hump is my back was hurting so bad because I was eating carbs and and I know it was my neighbor came by again so I stopped filming but see over here there was right there there was a tree growing into the house all oh, this is cleared now just amazing that whole backyard was jungle and it's all cleared now it's just amazing the job they did so 48 hours ago that was all jungle back there oh we have these ants that are all over the place crawling on me but anyway I just wanted to hop on here and say life is pretty darn good uh, except for at work, we're under turmoil at work. We're having our manager quit at the beginning of the year. Yay. She just had too much. She was just so stressed. So we got a new manager who's in training now. She's got two more weeks left and then she'll be at our store. She seems really, really good. We have a new assistant manager, finally. She's gonna be really good. We have a lead, a new young man who we hired a couple weeks ago, who they've made lead. He was just an amazing young man. He's only 23 years old, and he's just amazing. So 
I'm kind of in turmoil right now, but it's all going to work out in the end. It's going to be great. So, anyway, that's about it. I think I shall end this now and uh, say I love you all. Dance like no one's watching. We'll see you in the next video, and hopefully I'll be a lot less less of me.